Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode. Jason's here. Previously, we've explained how to create extensions to realize internal communication. In this video, we will go on by introducing how to connect and configure our chunks. Chunks are the telephone lines that we bought from the service providers to connect our local PBX and the public telecommunication network. It's the entrance ticket that our PBX can use to communicate externally. All right, so now let's jump right into the configuration. On our Yaystar P Service PBX system, all major types of chunks are supported, including PSCN, Mobile Chunk, BRI, PRI, and SIP Chunk. In the next few minutes, we'll have a check on them one by one. First, let's have a look at the PSTN Chunk, which is also known as the Analog Land Line. It's used globally for its long history and low costing form. To connect a PSTN chunk, we should pre install an O2 module and on our PBX so that the corresponding ports on the front side panel will be working as FXO ports. In most cases of scenario, to connect a PSTN chunk, it's just as simple as plug and play. Once the wire is connected, we can determine if it's working by checking the chunk status. Because it's pure analog, there are not so many parameters we can modify. But if we want to rename it, it's okay. And we can also adjust the volume by changing the Rx and Tx percentage. Rx is for receiving, and Tx is for transmitting. Or click on custom and set the volume by ourselves. The volume range should be from minus 30 dB to 12 dB. We can go to advanced in color ID settings. Then if we have some problems receiving caller ID, we need to confirm with our ITSP if we have the caller ID display service first. If we have, we should ask for the correct signaling and start type. Change those parameters and make it work. Next, let's move to the mobile chunk. There are three kinds of modules support mobile chunks. GSM, WCDMA, and 4G LTE modules covering 2G, 3G, and 4G networks. Here we will use a 4G module as an example. We've inserted a SIM card into the module. Our location is within the signal recovery area. So in status, it indicates that the SIM card is connected with the carrier successfully. However, if there's a PAN code required, we can click on Add it and put the SIM card PAN code in the selected area. Now let's talk about the PRI chunks. Here we have an E1 chunk. We should use an AX30 expansion board to get connected with it, which is only supported on P560 or P570. The configuration page for the E1 chunk is a little bit complex, but still, usually it can be plug and play. If the status indicates something wrong with the connection, we should contact our service provider for guidance to modify those parameters especially the signaling. We can also set up an outbound caller ID for the E1 chunk. We'll talk about this in the future video. Now let's continue with SIP chunk settings. All of our P-Service PBX models are IP-based. It means we don't need to prepare any additional hardware for SIP chunks. It's already embedded on the motherboard. Yaystar has tested leading ITSPs across the globe and provides configuration templates for the tested and certified ITSPs. If a template is already supported for our ITSP on the PBX, we can quickly create a SIP chunk by the template. If it's not, don't worry, we can use the general mode. Here we support two ways to get connected with our service provider. The first one is to create a register chunk. We need to get the host name, domain, username, password from our service provider. If there is an authentication name provided, we also need to fill it in. The second one is the peer chunk. Compared with the registration chunk, we need less information. It's really used when the provider required a hardware level verification. For example, they provide a dedicated line for SIP connection. We just need to get the host name and domain to make it work. We can also use SIP chunk to get connected with other PBXs or a VoIP gateway to make branch office connection or expand additional physical ports for the PBX. We'll be talking about this in our future video as well. 
Well, whether it's registered Chunk or Peter Chunk, we can click on Save and apply for it. By the way, don't forget to check the status to make sure it's working. Alright, that was all we have for this one. Hope you guys like it, and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you're not already. More details about the P-Series PBX, visit yaystar.com, and I will catch you guys in the next one.